fingers have a special sign I happen to discover They have three fingers in the air And flash it to each other They send their greetings to you They sing them and they shout But if you meet a fixie Please don't let their secret out But if you meet a fixie Please don't let their secret out But if you meet a fixie Please don't let their secret out The mirror. Hi there, Tom Thomas. Why has this mirror been standing here in the hallway for a whole week already? My dad can't seem to find any time to hang it on the wall. Are you sure it won't fall? It hasn't fallen so far. <laughs> so, Nolik, do I look like Spider-Man? <laughs> ah! No, you don't look like him at all. Yeah. Hey, you can't climb on walls like Spider-Man. Yeah, I'm sure you can do it. I can do it. Just give your chewing gum to me. See that? Like in the movie. Oh, like that's really hard. Just keep watching. That's hard. Feast your eyes and see what the only spider fixie in the whole wide world can do. could see their reflection was to look into water. The very first mirrors appeared about 5,000 years ago. They were made out of silver or bronze. Legend has it that the Greek scientist Archimedes once burned down an entire enemy fleet with the help of mirrors like these. But humans only became able to see their reflections well after they started making mirrors out of glass. And we still use glass mirrors today. But of course, mirrors are not only used for looking at our reflections. They are also used in telescopes to collect the light of distant stars. And humans also use mirrors inside of automobile headlights so they will shine even brighter. Just look at all the things mirrors can do for you. Ooh, looks like it didn't break. Help me lift it so we can lean it back up on the wall. I've gotten a reflection in the mirror. That's impossible, because only vampires can't see their reflections. Or ghosts. But I'm not in there. So then, I guess you've become a ghost. <laughs> no, not a ghost. I don't like them. Hey, what's all the racket? Did you guys get yourself into trouble again? Suka, me and Tom Thomas were playing Spider-Man. And I, I turned into a ghost for some reason. Yeah, a ghost. <laughs> That's silly. They don't even exist. Oh, you don't have any reflection either. Simka, you're a ghost just like I am. <gasps> That's just goofy. Look, just look, here I am. Well, hi there. But why couldn't I see myself over here? It's probably because the mirror is scratched on the back. Tom Thomas, do you think you can rotate the mirror? It's just like I said. Some of the special coating got scraped off of the back. A mirror is not just a piece of plain glass. Plain glass lets light pass through it. But a mirror reflects light. To turn a piece of glass into a mirror, people spray a special shiny coating on one of its sides that reflects everything. And then to protect the shiny coating, an extra layer of paint is put on top of it. But even with that protection, you still have to handle mirrors carefully. Because mirrors can easily scratch or even break. And do you think that this one is possible to fix? Yeah, we can do it. 
It's a good thing you have a pack mat with you. I thought we might need it after you started screaming over here. Don't tell me you've got paint in there for a mirror. A pack of mats got everything you'll ever need. It's all ready. <gasps> My dad's coming. Tom Thomas. What are you doing here? Checking if you hung it. Yeah, right. I'll definitely hang that mirror on the wall soon. Hmm, like tomorrow. Or next week. Can you believe that pixies are such itty bitty creatures? Even when they're magnified, it's hard to see their features. Once I finish you, my top secret growth potion, I will create my own giant canine crew! And then I'll rule the... Whoa! Wow, this is super! You're better than a TV show. Oh yeah, it's fun, but it's gonna end badly. <laughs> Tom Thomas, get ready for bed. I'm going, Dad. But first, my secret recipe. We start with a bit of carboniterous. And now a little bit of bread and butteress. And finally, beard of fumerous. Chusaka! Don't be afraid. Drink, my baby. And you'll grow ten times your size. What? It doesn't taste good? Oh, right. I forgot it needed stirring. This hypersonic mixer will do the trick. Tom Thomas, you shouldn't use what doesn't belong to you. That's your father's toothbrush. Ah! Hey, cut it out! You're acting crazy! <laughs> are a big boy, but your brain is smaller than Nullix. Why, thank you. Just go put the toothbrush back in its place. I'm like you never touched it. Nah, that's not right at all. Tom Thomas, what's up? I'm almost done, Dad. Simka, Nullix, please, I really need your help. No panicking. First, we need to understand what could have broken inside of there. An electric toothbrush is really simple, as long as you know these three parts the battery, the motor, and a very clever mechanism that connects the motor with the bristles. The whole secret to the toothbrush is right in there. That mechanism uses the spinning of the motor to make the bristles move very fast back and forth, from left to right, from right to left. And that's how it brushes your teeth. So what can we do about it? Here's what we do. First, we take out the motor, then we take the gears out, and then the mechanism. How much time do we need to do that? One or two hours. What? No! Just listen here, Tom Thomas. You need to open up the battery compartment. Wait for me right here. These are your teeth. Well, I mean, they're not your teeth, but you get what I'm saying. Nowadays, we use a toothbrush to clean our teeth, but it wasn't always that way. The ancient Egyptians used a chewed stick to scrape their teeth, while the ancient Greeks rubbed their teeth with a rag. And the Vikings, well, who knows what they used? And then, only 200 years ago, an Englishman named William Addis came up with something better. He drilled holes into a meat bone, inserted bunches of bristles into them, and there you go, the toothbrush. 
And here's what I need to tell you all as a fixie. That is, as a master repairman. You need to make sure to brush your teeth often. Especially after eating, or you'll be getting them repaired often at the dentist. Well, is something wrong with the mechanism? No, it's fine. Is the motor burned out? No. Then what's wrong with it? You're not gonna believe it. But the battery died. That's all? I know what to do. I'll put in new ones. Your dad turned the toothbrush on. Looks like everything's fine. It's working. Ooh, way to go. Excellent. Your dad will never find out what kind of slop you mixed up with his brush. What slop? <laughs> How dare you, Nolik? How dare you refer to my mighty potion like this? Tom Thomas, somehow soap got all over my toothbrush. Can you explain that? Ay, ay, ay. Well, you got caught. What do you say now? <laughs> but if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. <laughs>